Hey all, it's Mooch. Just going to do a quick thermal imaging test of the Broadside Mods Brizzo because in the battle between the Purge Slam piece, the Immortal Mods Grip, and the Brizzo, uh, this one had the highest voltage drop. So I wanted to see where the voltage drop occurs. Does it happen uh, down here where the threads are? Does it happen up where it joins the atomizer? Is it where the contacts are here? Just to get a better idea. Not because this gets hot, just because I'm curious as where that voltage drop is occurring. Now, you may notice this area in the center, which if I pass my hand over, you can see the reflection. The top and the bottom are wrapped in black electrical tape so I can see where the infrared heat is. And you can see where my finger is there but you can't really see anything here in the middle. Uh, the tape makes the metal much better emitter of infrared radiation because polished metal is a really poor emitter. What it does though is it shows you the heat that's around, like if I move my hand back and forth. So I'm not too worried about the heating right in here. Any heat that starts from here will spread up or move the other way. But I want to leave this bare to show you how important it is to not aim an infrared gun or an image, thermal imaging camera at metal unless you've done something to it, flat black paint, uh, even black electrical tape, to make it a better emitter of infrared. And you can see the button picks up reflections, but won't show itself getting hotter. For the test, I'm gonna pass 30 amps continuous through this, not as a simulation of what happens when we're using this mech, not at all, but so that we don't have to wait an hour as I sit here, you know, pressing the button, pulsing away, if try to do some kind of simulation. We're not here to simulate how it's used. We're here to find out where the heating does occur. Now the actual temperature doesn't matter either. We're, we're just looking at, does it heat up you know, here in the threads, does it heat up where the contacts are? Does it heat up where the threads or the atomizer screws in? That's it. We're not concerned about temperature or anything like that. And let's give it a start. And I'll do uh, 60 seconds, which you won't have to watch. I'll speed it up and go. And stop. Okay, now you can see if when I pull my hand away, highest temperature here is only, looking at the upper left hand corner, 30 degrees Celsius. So it's not even body temperature yet. It may look hot, but if I bring my hand in, so my skin's even hotter than it. You can start to see the heat starting to spread up to here and reach up to here, but there's no brightening over here, the right side, and also down here, you can see the line. Let me get it a little bit. There we go. You can see the contact point. Here's where it's heating up. And right there, that's the line where the bottom part threads on to the top part. So you can see there's a thermal break here. And this here is just a piece of the black electrical tape. So let's fire this up and confirm that. Okay, so there's one spot right here. Now since there are two contacts, we should see a spot on the other side. And there it is. Right here. So the heating, again, it's not happening in the threads here. It's happening in this spot here. Pressing the button again. Oops. Got stuck on the tape, sorry. There we go. Now again, it looks like it's getting blazing hot, but look at the temperature in the left, le upper left hand corner. It's only about a degree hotter than my body temperature. If I grab it, I, I can't even feel that it's warm. And then the heat will spread across this joint and up through the device. So we can see that it's actually the contacts, contact points that are creating the heat and not the threads down here, not the thread up here where the atomizer goes in, which makes sense because they were just two small points of contact that I saw when I examined the contacts and the inside of the button. Uh, the only two small points of contact for all the current to flow. So that naturally is gonna be uh, where the heat is created. Now again, this is not a ton of heat. It's just the amount of heat that is generated is created at the contact points and not the threads. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.